Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And in this video, it is going to be all about lane changes. I'm going to do a lot of lane changes. Now, this is me manually doing the lane changes. I'm running software 2019.20.4.2 in all of these clips that you're going to see. So what I mean when I say I'm doing these lane changes, now you all may be really familiar with navigate on autopilot and that's where the car is doing these lane changes but i want to show you what it's like and how the car performs doing lane changes manually now you can see here i have two blue lines going forward those two blue lines indicate that i am in just regular autopilot not navigate on autopilot so you're going to see my left hand go up and turn on the turn signal physically and that's when the car initiates a lane change the lane change is done by the car, you can see by that blue steering wheel there and the dashed lines that show up, one of the two blue lines, depending on the direction that the lane change is in, is going to turn into a dash line from a solid line. And that'll indicate that the car is going to move into that direction. And so the autopilot is doing this lane change. But there's a couple things that I wanna talk about with these lane changes. Now, first of all, I want to say that go back about a year or more and autopilot could do no lane changes on road like, roads like this, like two lane roads with stoplights and all that. It just physically could not do the lane change. So it's really impressive to see how the software update has, how the software updates over the past few years have really improved this autopilot system. And so you can see here that the autopilot is able to do these lane changes really, really smoothly. So take a look how I passed this car here and my turn signal isn't on yet. You can see on the center display that the car, the autopilot sees the other blue car that we just passed and you can see in my rear view mirror where that car is also. So when I turn the turn signal, there's absolutely no issue with the car making the lane change over into that lane. Super smooth compared to the first or one or two software updates that we saw where the autopilot struggled. Now I want to run this clip back because this is really cool. So not only do we make the lane change right before the intersection, but then now there's no dash lines here. And in the left lane, I found that it uses the median as kind of a point of reference. So it's able to transition through intersections in the left lane a little bit easier than it is on a right lane. So we're slowing down right here because of traffic in front of us. And you're gonna see me turn on the right turn signal to get over and autopilot speeds up a little bit and then slows down to get behind this van, which is really impressive when you think about a lane change and all the things that go into it when you're dealing with other traffic that's around you. I wanna slow that again so I can point everything out. So we're speeding up here and I turn on the turn signal and the car continues to speed up until we clear that SUV that we just passed and then it sees an opening and then it trans slows down and makes the lane change over. Really impressive to kind of fit its way in between traffic right there. Super, super smart. Now here's an instance where the autopilot uh, lane changes doesn't work so well. So as you can see there, I put on the turn signal to get into this turn lane but it doesn't really go into the turn lane right away like it does if you've used Navigate on Autopilot where the car is a little bit more aware. We're kind of in the middle of the turn lane, which if you have people behind you, I don't in this instance, but if you did, then it really looks just like you're a terrible driver. And <laughs> I'm sure we've all seen those people that kind of dive into the turn lane at the last second. So obviously, if you follow my channel, you know that we can't do turns yet except if you saw my last video where we did a left-hand turn, but definitely go over to my channel and check that out. So we're gonna re-engage autopilot here and make a couple more lane changes. Again, we're on a four-lane road, but this is definitely not a highway, right? So we have multiple intersections, stoplights, a lot of things going on here. So the fact that autopilot can make these lane changes is really impressive. Now I did like how this autopilot slowed down to get behind a car. I know if you've seen 
some of my previous videos, I feel like autopilot is late to see a stopped car at a stoplight, but it looks like that is improving. <laughs> I point to a Tesla that's actually right behind me right there, another Model 3. So here we are in a shopping center, and because there is a double yellow line or lane markings, we're actually able to turn on autopilot in the shopping center, which is really cool. And it does a good job because the lane markings are very clear. So we've got a couple other lane changes up here and take a look here. So we had this Subaru speeding up next to us and it's in red so the car clearly sees the other car which I feel very safe knowing that the car sees the other car. But then as we come up to this intersection you're going to see the lane change was canceled. And that's because the car is identifying this as an intersection. So it cancels a lane change. And I've got other examples of this later in the video that always happen around the intersection. So here it is, we do the lane change once again, and it performs beautifully because we don't have any cars. And I go right back over before the intersection and it works just fine. Now that is a pretty big intersection there and it navigated it really well but we're only talking about lane changes in this video, so I apologize if I get off track just a little bit. So coming up here right next to this white car, I'm gonna turn on my turn signal, and you see that it shows the car in red, and now Autopilot's decided that, okay, we're gonna slow down from 50 miles an hour down to about 44 to get behind this car which was really cool there to see. We are kind of neck and neck with this car and Autopilot first started to accelerate and then decided to slow down to allow this car to pass before it would get over. Now this is really smart and again, why I think this system is constantly improving and constantly getting better. And these lane changes I've seen have gotten better and better and that's what inspired me to do this video just specifically on autopilot lane changes. Now here we have autopilot engaged and I'm gonna get into this left-hand turn lane. So I turn my turn signal on right before the lane starts and it gets over, but again, it gets over almost like, I would say 40 or 60 feet after the lane starts. So while we're here, I'll keep it in autopilot and let's try to make a left-hand turn. So light turns green, we're still in autopilot. I've done a left-hand turn, like I said previously in my other video, but we have no lane markings here and the autopilot wants to, is confused, okay. So it tried to follow the car in front of us, but unfortunately the software is not designed for that yet. So that's why it failed, those of you that don't uh, know a lot about Tesla or haven't seen a lot of videos about Tesla. I don't want to fool you thinking that the car failed at that particular instance. It's just that autopilot currently is not designed for turning or really even smaller roads like you see most of my tests. I like pushing the autopilot system to the limit. So we're going to initiate a lane change here. We have another car in our blind spot. So the car sees that now we're neck and neck and you see that it canceled the lane change. That's because of the intersection here. So here it is again in slow-mo. Now I really feel safe seeing that red car there, which me as the driver is the best blind spot protection. But here you can see that the auto, auto lane change was canceled because of the intersection. And that is the second time you've seen this just in this video. Now I do hit the turn signal again and we get over with no problem. So here's another test and we are on a bigger two lane road. There's still stoplights and all that. It's not a big highway, but we are able to do these lane changes very, very smoothly. There's not a lot of cars around me, but still you can see just how smooth this system works as I go back and forth from the left and the right lane. Now it's nice because there's not a lot of cars around me, so there's not somebody behind me thinking like, what the heck is this person doing? But it's really showing you how smooth these lane changes are. So first when, let's say, I think it was about eight months ago when the autopilot suite was 
upgraded and able to do these little lane changes like this on this type of road, it was very jerky. And so were the navigate on autopilot lane changes as well on major highways where the car would automatically do it without my driver input. But now you can see just how smooth these lane changes are, which is really impressive in just a few short months how quickly autopilot's been able to improve. Now I'm gonna turn the lane change on here, but you can see we're passing through an intersection and it's going to cancel. So this is the third example of that, where it's passing through an intersection, my turn signal is on, my left turn signal, and it's going to cancel the automatic lane change. So this tells me that Tesla is getting really, really good at identifying these intersections, which is going to bring us into the next software update where we get the stoplight detection and the um, stop sign detection as well. So here's another lane change coming up here and just operated beautifully. We're gonna go right back over to the right hand lane. Just really, really smooth. So now I wanna switch gears a little bit and test the autopilot on a single lane road. You can see that my turn signal was on there and I'm gonna turn on the left turn signal here just to see what the autopilot does. So I get a warning there to put some turning force on the wheel, which autopilot um, and Tesla did a couple software updates ago. But you can see here, this is great because I'm putting the turn signal on and there's no lane for it to turn into. So I'm trying to trick the autopilot system into making an improper lane change into somewhere where it shouldn't be making the lane change. So passed with flying colors back there, which is fantastic. So right here, I'm gonna put the left turn signal on. There's no left lane, and I wanna see if it's going to cross that double yellow, which it is not. You can see I'm getting that error message on my center display. So really good. I'm gonna turn the right turn signal on here, and you can see that the two blue lines are staying solid. There's no dashes, and I get that error on the center display telling me that it is not going to do the lane change. So a lot of confidence for me as the driver, again, not only with the blind spot warnings where the other cars turn red, but also this test here that shows it not making the lane change on a single lane road. So you've seen in this video thus far that autopilot is able to make lane changes on a road like this, right? But it canceled the lane change right here and that's probably because of the intersection, right? But now we're gonna do it again, and we're gonna get the same error. So for whatever reason, whenever autopilot was engaged right here in this section of road, it would not let me make a lane change out of the lane. It was almost like autopilot was kind of stuck in this right-hand lane even though after multiple attempts and I waited for cars to pass so that I knew that it was clear over there and then I turn on my turn signal and nothing, it would not get over. Now that maybe was because of the intersection right there, but it's definitely struggling here to get over and it doesn't even show this car is red, which is odd, or that car is red. It just cancels lane change you know, automatic lane change unavailable. And it's not until you can see, you know, I get a little frustrated and turn off the autopilot. Then I manually move the car into the left-hand lane and re-engage autopilot in the left-hand lane. So now I'm gonna turn on the turn signal. There is a car coming up on the right-hand side and I'm passing through the intersection. So I wait a second and then turn on the turn signal right here and the car turns red. So now the cars in the lane I wanna get into are turning red, and then it says automatic lane change canceled, which is a little odd. I turn on the turn signal while I'm in the intersection. I don't see this car turning red right here. I think that's because it was not my blind spot. I think it only turns red when it's in my blind spot, and then it finally makes the lane change. So not sure why it wasn't working or why it wasn't letting me do the lane change previously in the road until I took over and almost you know, restarted the autopilot again, and then it would allow me to do a lane change after that. If you haven't done so yet, head on over to Patreon and you can support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. 
And if you support me at one of the higher tiers, you actually get early access to all my YouTube videos that get posted over there before they get posted to YouTube. There's also lots of great articles and other content that I put over there that's exclusive to Patreon. So make sure you go over there and check it out. And I wanna give a huge shout out to our man Amin who's supporting me over there at my top tier, the all electric level. Thank you so much for your support and thank you to everybody else who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and I will see you guys in the next one.